Who is the surprising Supernatural star who has eight stunt doubles? How did Jared Padalecki steal the role from Jensen Ackles? And what does Misha Collins regret after all those years on the show? Hi, I'm Dylan. Let's look at the awesome fun facts about Supernatural. It turns out when the show's concept was first pitched, it was going to be called Unnatural. The series creator Eric Kripke had worked on the script for 10 years before it finally made it onto the small screen. Initially, the show's concept was a newspaper reporter investigating urban legends and writing about them in his column. Kripke shared in an interview with Variety, Urban legends are this incredibly rich mythology about the United States, and no one had really tapped into that. He even had Dean and Sam living in Lawrence, Kansas because of its proximity to the urban legend of Stoll Cemetery, which says that a gateway to hell is located there. Originally, Supernatural was supposed to end after only five seasons. Eric Kripke designed the story arc so that the show would actually wrap up quite elegantly. He even titled the season five finale, Swan Song. But its loyal fans have become quite a phenomenon, allowing the show to continue for a record-breaking 15 seasons. It came as a surprise even to Kripke himself. Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki both auditioned for the role of Sam, and they both won the hearts of the show's creator. It's so difficult to find one actor who is charismatic enough to be a breakout character and to support a show. So to find two of them when there's only two leads, I didn't realize what a miracle it was at the time. The producers offered Ackles the role of Dean instead, and they actually won him over by calling Dean the Han Solo character of the brotherly duo. Ackles just couldn't resist, and the rest is just history now. By the way, Dean was originally supposed to be covered in tattoos, but the budget of the first season was so tiny that they just couldn't afford it. There was supposed to be yet another tribute to Han Solo in Star Wars. Sam and Dean's last name should have been Harrison, but the lawyers made Kripke change this name because there was a real Dean Harrison living in Kansas. So Sam and Dean became Winchesters, which was influenced by a famous haunted mansion in California. According to Jensen Ackles, he and Jared actually had that brotherly bond both on and offset. It was just immediate chemistry. There was an ease to it. There was a familiarity to it. Once we got into it with each other, it just fell in place, he told Variety. The two were indeed roommates, and Jared Padalecki shared back in 2008 about how they were hanging out and playing guitar until they fell asleep. And it added a lot of vibe to their performance. For example, during Sam's death scene in season two, Jensen Ackles imagined it was really Padalecki who was dying and pulled his emotion from that thought. The level of secrecy that surrounded the role of Castiel was so high that during his audition, Misha Collins thought he was going to play a demon, and when Eric Kripke told him about his character's true nature, Collins just went blank, because all of the preparation that he had done for the character went out the window. Still, he performed really well, so much so that Castiel, who initially was only supposed to be in the show for a handful of episodes, was made a series regular. Fans adore Castiel and everything about him, but there's one thing about him the actor regrets. Colin says he wishes he hadn't made the angel's voice that deep. It turns out that the gravelly way Misha speaks as Castiel actually hurts his vocal cords. I thought I should give him a really commanding, powerful voice. Something I now regret because there are definitely times when I have to go home and drink hot lemon water and have a sore throat. Well, he definitely wasn't able to change it as it became his character's calling card. Surprisingly, Castiel's now iconic outfit was actually inspired by the DC comic book character of John Constantine. But when the trench coat wearing Demon Hunter got his own show in 2014, many of the Supernatural fans didn't realize that his character of John Constantine existed first. Unexpectedly, it wasn't the rival show that inspired Castiel's changeover. It was Misha Collins, who was said to have been tired of wearing the same wardrobe season after season. Supernatural shares filming locations with other popular shows like Smallville, The X-Files, and Arrowverse. They're all shot in Vancouver, British Columbia. So if some beautiful views look strangely familiar, there's actually nothing supernatural about it. The show also reuses the sets multiple times. For example, Riverview Hospital, a large mental health facility, has been used as a main set in season one, a prison, a regular hospital, and an apartment building. The facility's distinctive staircase is easily recognizable, so pay attention while rewatching your favorite show. Fans of the show would definitely agree that music plays a big role on the show. Eric Kripke took the majority of the show's soundtrack from his own personal collection. Moreover, many episodes are named after classic rock songs from Johnny Cash, The Rolling Stones, The Who, and of course, Led Zeppelin because it's Dean's favorite band. Also, as we have mentioned before, Kripke named the final episode of that fifth season, Swan Song which also happens to be the name of Led Zeppelin's record label, Swansong Records. 
But why can't we actually hear Led Zeppelin? The answer is simple. Kripke says their music is too expensive to license. The Winchester brothers are known for pretending to be detectives in the show. Their fake names are usually cool pop culture references, like when they introduce themselves as Agents Ford and Hamill, referencing Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill, or as Stark and Banner, which is a reference to Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, and Bruce Banner, aka Hulk. And there's a number of rock music references too. For example, Agent Collins and Agent Gabriel are shoutouts to Phil Collins and Peter Gabriel. Definitely all four members of Led Zeppelin have had their names used in one manner or another. Dean's black Chevrolet Impala is as much a member of the Supernatural family as it is a third Winchester. If somebody stole the Impala, what would you do? Murder. I'd murder them all. Kripke always knew it had to be a muscle car. However, he had originally chosen a 1965 Mustang as the brother's car. He later changed his mind, and can you guess the reason why? Amazingly, his neighbor told him he had to use a 1967 Impala instead because you can easily fit a body in the trunk. This was exactly what the Winchesters needed for their never-ending pursuit of evil. The Chevy Impala, affectionately called Baby by Dean, is a movie star in her own right. There's even a whole episode where everything is seen from the car's perspective. The iconic car is called Hero One off-screen and has a bunch of stunt doubles. For action scenes, the show uses eight different cars, while Hero One is saved for the gravy work. Baby's also an influencer, as the widespread popularity of the show has created a demand for the four-door Impalas. Also, the car is often replicated by fans, which jacked up the prices of these cars. John Winchester, Dean and Sam's father, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, was only supposed to be in the pilot. Another character who was only supposed to be in one episode was Bobby Singer. I was hired for one episode, Devil's Trap, and no one told me anything about Bobby's trajectory early on, Jim Beaver said. Kripke explained that he wanted to revive another character, Missouri Mosley, but since she was unavailable, he created Bobby. By the way, this character was named after the show's producer, Robert Singer. Sam's birthday, which falls on the 2nd of May, is significant to Eric Kripke because it's his son's birthday. And it's an almost supernatural coincidence, as Kripke's son was born two years after he gave Sam that birthday. Dean's birthday is also important because it is Eric Kripke's wife's birthday. And did you know that there is only a 12-year age difference between Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Jensen Ackles? And Samantha Smith, who plays their mother Mary, is only nine years older than Ackles. That certainly doesn't make Morgan and Smith old enough to be Dean and Sam's parents in real life. Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles' wives have both appeared on Supernatural. Genevieve Cortez played the role of Demon Ruby, who had a relationship with Sam. But although the actors definitely had great chemistry on screen, it took them four months to actually go on their first date in real life. They got married in 2010, the same year Jensen Ackles married actress and model Danielle Harris. Moreover, being real-life best friends, Jared and Jensen were groomsmen in each other's weddings. Danielle joined the cast of Supernatural in season 13, although she spent most of her time on screen playing opposite Mark Pellegrino, and not her husband. Supernatural played a bigger role in Jeffrey Dean Morgan's life than you can imagine. Morgan was introduced to his wife Hillary Burton on a blind date, organized by his on-screen son Jensen Ackles. Jensen's then-girlfriend Daniil was Burton's co-star on the show One Tree Hill, and the couple did a little matchmaking. Morgan and Burton fell for each other immediately, but they only tied the knot after an entire decade together. Their wedding ceremony was hosted by Morgan's long-term co-stars, Jensen Ackles and Norman Reedus. Daniil Ackles wasn't the only member of Jensen's family who appeared in Supernatural. Jensen's dad, Alan Ackles, appeared in a season 8 episode, Heartache, as Detective Pike, and his mother Donna also took to the set as an extra in the episode. Jensen's sister Mackenzie has been in two episodes as well, and so were Daniil's brother Gino and her niece Valerie. By the way, Jensen Ackles has directed six episodes of Supernatural throughout its run, the last of which was in the final 15th season. On top of being an actor and director, Jensen Ackles is also a singer. The diehard fans of course know this from his numerous performances during Comic-Con events, alone and in the company of his famous friends. For example, he took the stage at the 2018 Vegas Supernatural convention together with Slipknot and Stone Sour singer Corey Taylor to sing Bon Jovi's Wanted Dead or Alive. And finally, last year Ackles and fellow musician Steve Carlson completed their debut album, titled Radio Company Volume 1. One of the songs from this album, Sounds of Someday, features in the episode Atomic Monsters from the final season of Supernatural. So guys, which of these fun facts surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for staying with awesome movies!